What's up guys, I'm Andy. I'm here with Charles, the lead designer of the Razer Pro-R Supercharger Kit. Uh, Charles, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. Obviously this is just a simple proof of concept. We took it out to San Hollow. We took it to Camp Razor just to see what it can do. But obviously the superchargers on this side, it's easier to do the piping. So it's pretty simple. Obviously it's still proof of concept. So there's gonna be a nice billet one that comes out later. Up here, it's just a simple, it's our little coolant reservoir. Obviously it was in this location, but we got rid of that location because you can see the piping. We wanted it to flow nice. We wanted to make it a simple install. Now I see you kept the stock air box and you mounted the intercooler behind the headrest. What's the purpose of that? Well, first thing is with the air box, we did that because we want to try to keep as many stock parts as possible. Okay. You know, once again, make it easy install, you know, real simple to do. So we did that. Okay, it fits perfect. And then obviously with the intercooler, we mounted it up above so it can get nice free flow, you know, so as you're riding, going around places, it keeps the air cool and obviously keeps the power consistent. Gotcha. And then that oil cooler that's sitting in front of it, what is that for? That's our, it's our Rotrex reservoir. So our unit, obviously when the oil goes through it, it creates a lot of heat. So what it does, it goes through the cooler, cools it down, goes back into the reservoir and then cycles back into the Rotrex. So it keeps the Rotrex under control, temperature control, everything. Now, what kind of numbers can we roughly expect when the product's ready to release? Well, we're not really releasing it yet because okay. uh, we're still in concept mode. You know, we're still trying to figure out different boost variations. So it'll be coming out soon. We'll know once we have the products all finished and finalized, then we'll start giving out that number. But I would say somewhere between 260 to 300 okay. in that range. Yeah. So now that you got the prototype squared away, what's the next step that you have to take? Well, from right here, like I said, once again, it was just proof of concept. So now from here, it's going up to R&D upstairs. They're going to design it in CAD and they're gonna make a rapid prototype out of plastic and we'll actually install it, make sure everything's lined up correctly. And then the next step from there, we send it out, it'll come out a billet, make it look real pretty, you know, look pretty awesome. And then once we get that done, then we go send the other parts out to get manufactured. And then soon, within a couple months, we have a complete kit. It's real easy, it looks good, it looks the flow really nice and everything. It looks great already. Yeah, it's just basically simple mock-up out of sheet metal, real simple. Charles, when can we expect to this kit being released and what, what are we looking at for a price point? Well, we're looking about March. That's when the kit's gonna be released. Uh, price point, we're probably looking somewhere under five grand. Obviously it's not gonna be including management. All right, Charles, other than the supercharger kit, now that it's squared away, what other products are you looking to develop? Well, we're gonna be making header. We're gonna come out with that nice aftermarket full flow header and then a muffler system. Obviously it's not here, because we want to show the supercharger kit. But once we have the header and exhaust system done, next step we're going into is suspension, looking at springs, you know, aftermarket springs. And then fuel system, you know, people are gonna be making more horsepower, so we'll possibly go into the fuel system. And then from there, we'll just go on. If there's other stuff that people like, we'll make it badass, we'll come out with it. All right, folks, there you have it. We're looking at a possibly early March uh, release on this kit. Um, thank you again, Charles, for showing us on the Pro R kit and we're, everybody's looking forward to it. Oh yeah, just get ready. It's gonna come out, it's gonna turn a lot of heads. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks for checking out the video guys. Uh, please hit like, subscribe, follow us, tag us, anything. Uh, we'll have more content. We'll have videos of ride-alongs and uh, testimonials on this car. And hit me up, uh, Andy DeSoto or Craftworks Off-Road, Craftworks USA, and we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> works.